God yes. thoroughly. It's it's amazing. Wow. So I took them there in our city. We entered into the service. We started, people started praying. Hello, welcome to my channel once again, once again. I am very sure you have heard this phrase before. They say Ghana is home. Ghana is not a country. Ghana is home. See, you as a Ghanaian, tell me, you as a Ghanaian, let me know in the comment section, how do you feel whenever you travel outside Ghana and you come back? There is a certain feeling that you get that makes you, you like, no, Charlie, I have to go back to Ghana. I miss Ghana because see every country is very different I understand and wherever anyone is when they travel outside they want to go home and that is a normal thing but for Ghana anyone watching me let me know Ghana seems to have this feeling whenever you travel you you just want to come back to ghana or perhaps if you travel outside ghana and you are experiencing whatever that other countries also have you feel like no you are missing something ghana feels so different when you are here and when you travel out you just miss the country and this is not exception to what these people that i'm about to show their videos to you are also saying see even if you are not a ghanaian and you travel to the country you have this this feeling this this touch i don't know how to describe it you can never describe how that feeling is like but you just miss the country and or when you are even not a Ghanaian and you travel into the country you have this people say Ghanaians are very peaceful they are welcoming they are lovely people and all that yes but aside of all that it seems like there is a special feeling that you get when you come to Ghana or even when you are Ghanaian and you travel outside something keeps telling you that Charlie let me come back to Ghana let me come back to Ghana I miss Ghana I miss Ghana I miss Ghana Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm about to show you some videos, some clips of religious leaders who are confessing when they visited Ghana, how they felt about Ghana. So let's watch these videos and come back and talk. About the spirituality of nations. Ghana. Ghana, 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 Ghana. Please, we're not here to talk about economies. We're not here to talk about infrastructures, skyscrapers. I'm talking about the atmosphere. There is God in that nation that in every car you enter, even in a taxi. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. It's amazing. Pastor, it's amazing. I long to go there. I just, I just long I, to I, I, go. I, I had the opportunity of being taken, being taken there by my father, and I can tell you, that <laughs> I had an experience that I, I, I will forever talk about. Wow, the atmosphere is different. <laughs> The prayer environment is different. You, 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 you've never seen anything like that. All of my pastors, I went with them. And I was telling them, I said, guys, you are yet to see service when service is being offered to God. Thoroughly. It's, it's, it's amazing. Wow. So I took them there in our city. We entered into the service. We st people started praying. And they thought soon the preacher is coming. No preacher was coming. It was. They thought praying. somebody was going to. <laughs> people were praying until I. My pastors, we were now quiet. They didn't know what to do. We were just looking and trying to figure out what is going on. When is this thing going <laughs> to stop? Wow. Well. <laughs> the floor. Mm. It was amazing. It was amazing. Ah. Your <laughs> voice, your <laughs> voice leaves you and it comes back. It leaves you again. It comes, it comes back. back. And you are looking at them and they are just praying. <laughs> but you feel it when you listen to the worship music. Then, ah, these people have something. You see? Play that, play their songs in your car. Even without hearing the language. You, you can't even get what they're saying. Ah. It's like they're, it's, it's like somebody who is complaining. Mm. You hear like somebody's insulting someone, yeah. you can't really tell what is happening, but the, the presence is... You see those days, they are worshipping God, somebody just begins to worship. From the beginning of the song, it will go on for an hour, one song. One song. Ah, one song. And somebody who has got everything you can talk about, look at the car that is parked yeah, outside. Yes, that yes. They are rolling on the floor from the back. During that service, you don't ask people to give seed. No. They overwhelm the altar. Mm. And you're wondering, what kind of a country is this? What kind of a people is this? Ah, we long for that. Mm. I really thank you, my father, for taking me there. Mm. I, I have never seen anything like that. Anyway, mm. I'm saying this just to let the people know that you don't always have to wait for God's visitation. You must simply identify the place that God has already visited or the person and you visit.
Yes. You know, the first time I came to Ghana, the airport in Accra was different. It's a bus station. It was. Yes. Now it's upgraded yeah. to world class, and yeah. everything. The roads are beautiful. The place is amazing, and Ghana is a place to visit. Mm -hmm. They speak English, and things work here. And mashallah, it's a beautiful the experience of West Africa. The weather is very nice. Very Today I really thought as well. Better than Europe nowadays. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. You know, the weather in the Middle East is extremely hot. It's like 45 degrees, mm -hmm. and here, mashallah, is about 28, 30. Yeah, at the moment, yeah. See, Ghana has this special feeling. No matter who you are, even if you are not a Ghanaian or you are a Ghanaian, you will you will have that feeling. If you're a Ghanaian, that will be when you travel outside the country, you get to miss a lot of things about the country. And when you are not a Ghanaian too, and you travel inside the country or you come inside the country, there is this feeling that you get. And I'm sure since 2019, there has been a lot of, for instance, these African-Americans that have said a lot about Ghana. Some of them will tell you, oh, I've traveled to so and so number of countries in Africa, but I just decided to choose Ghana. I've gone to this country, I've gone to that country, but I just feel some sense of belonging to this place being Ghana. A lot of them have said this. I don't know if you are someone who has been following the year of return and some of the interviews that these African-Americans, the people interview them, and especially Jamaicans, when they come around, they are like Charlie. They feel so connected to Ghana than any other African country. From the clips that I showed you, I think I need to just go with them and say, God lives here in Ghana. I know that definitely God lives everywhere. God is everywhere. You see, God is everywhere. But Charlie, sometimes <laughs> I feel like this is the headquarters of God. Man, it is so, so special. And I don't know how to describe it for you to understand. But I'm very sure you watching me, you have experienced something like this. Let me know in the comment section your experience. Whether you are a Ghanaian, whether you are not a Ghanaian. Let me know your experience visiting Ghana and you being a Ghanaian too. Let me know your experience when you traveled outside Ghana. How did you feel? And when you came back, how was the feeling like? Man, I have felt that before and I know how that feeling is. And people who travel into this country, they will tell you there is something about Ghana. You cannot put a finger on that thing, but there is a feeling that you get whenever you are in Ghana. It's so refreshing, so different, so, so different. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you. About the spirituality of nations. Ghana, 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 Ghana. Please, we're not here to talk about the economies. We're not here to talk about infrastructures, skyscrapers. I'm talking about the atmosphere. There is God in that nation that in every car you enter, even in a taxi. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. It's amazing. Awesome. It's amazing. I long to go there. I just, I just long to I, just I, I, go. I, I had the opportunity of being taken, being taken there by my father. And I can tell you, <laughs> I had an experience that I, I, I will forever talk about. Wow. The atmosphere is different. <laughs> The prayer environment is different. You, 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 you've never seen anything like that. All of my pastors, I went with them. And I was telling them, I said, guys, you are yet to see service when service is being offered to God. Thoroughly. It's, it's, it's amazing. Wow. So I took them there. In our city, we entered into the service. We started, people started praying. And they thought, soon the preacher is coming. No preacher was coming. It was they thought somebody was going to. <laughs> people were praying until I... My pastors, we were now quiet. They didn't know what to do. We were just looking and trying to figure out what is going on. When is this thing going <laughs> to stop? Wow. Well. <laughs> the floor. Mm. It was amazing. It was amazing. Ah. <laughs> your voice, your <laughs> voice leaves you and it comes back. It leaves you again. <laughs> it comes, it comes back. back. And you are looking at them and they are just praying. <laughs> you, know, you feel it when you listen to the worship music. Mm, these people have something. You see? Play, that, play their songs in your car. Even without hearing the language. You, you can't even get what they're saying. Ah. It's like they're, it's, it's like somebody who is complaining. And you hear like somebody's insulting someone, yeah. you can't really tell what is happening, but the, the presence. You see those days, they are worshipping God, somebody just begins to worship. From the beginning of the song, if you go on for an hour, one song, one song. Ah, one song. And somebody who has got everything you can talk about, look at the car that is parked outside. Yes, the that he, yes. They are rolling on the floor from the back. During that service, you don't ask people to give seed. No. They overwhelm the older. Mm. And you are wondering, what kind of a country is this? What kind of a people is this? Ah, we long for that. Mm. I really thank you, my father, for taking me there. Mm. I, really, I, I have never seen anything like that. Anyway, mm. I'm saying this just to let the people know that you don't always have to wait for God's visitation. You must simply identify the place that God has already visited.
or the person and you visit. <laughs>